Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hazel and I'm that white Indian girl. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and my chair is rotating underneath me. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my phone case. I've never actually done this before, so this is my first time decorating my phone case. Usually, I just have a photo card in the back of my phone case or I just like leave it as is because I'm a really boring person. It was actually really fun to decorate it and it turned out really cute and I wanted to share with you guys. And then in the second half of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, the apps on my phone and like what's on my phone and stuff and the new iOS 14 update and my layout for that. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and ring the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos from me. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, so you're just gonna be seeing my hands today and hearing my voice. So as you can see, this is my old phone case. It's just kind of plain. It just, it just has the Mots 7 stickers on it and the, the photo card that came with my Mots 7 album. And so I went and got uh, the, same old, the same exact case from Walmart. It was like $5. And that's what I'll be decorating today with all the stickers that I have <clears throat> surrounding it. And the main reason I wanted to redecorate it was because this ring holder thing that I got and yeah. So these are some puffy stickers that my friend got for me. Um, I don't know where she got them from, but she got them for me for my birthday. Um, these are uh, Jungkook stickers that my another one of my friends got for me, and she got those from Etsy, so I'll try to find them. And then these BT21 stickers are ones that I got from Amazon, and I'll link them down below in the description box if you guys want to go buy them. So here I'm just literally unboxing my phone case and it was kind of a struggle to unbox this thing but yeah so just unboxing it and getting rid of the little insert thingy that they have in there you there it goes so the next thing I did was just remove my old phone case and very carefully removed my photo card because I did not want to harm it in any way and then i'm gonna save my old phone case to maybe redecorate later with something else or with these stickers that i have so the next thing i'm doing is just using the jungkook stickers and i wanted to use them as like a jumping off point because he is my bias and they kind of look like little photo cards as well and i'm not going to stick them anywhere because they're made of like paper material they're not like plastic stickers so I'm not going to peel them off and stick them anywhere, I'm kind of just going to put them in the back of my phone and then put the phone case on top since the phone case is clear. And so here's just me like trying to decide which ones would fit and I didn't want to cover like his head with my ring holder phone thing, with my phone ring holder thing, whatever it's called, that thing right there, the map of the soul persona thing. I didn't want to cover his head <laughs> with that so I'm like placing out everything to make sure that I don't end up like covering any stickers and just laying everything out and deciding um, which sticker I want where. And then here you'll see that I finally went with the that sticker that you can see on the screen with the little cookie headband and I think it fit the best and it was like the perfect size for my phone case for where I wanted it to be placed. And then I ended up finding this little army bomb sticker in the Jungkook sticker pile. <laughs> And I thought it went kind of well with my phone case as well because my the bottom of my case looked a little empty. So here I'm just using a little bit of washi tape to put my sticker on the back of my phone so it doesn't like move around inside of my case once I put the case on. And so it doesn't like slide around or slosh around and I just put like the tiniest bit. And yeah, Jungkook is stuck on my phone now. And then I did the same thing with the army bomb phone case. Army bomb phone case. I did the same thing with the army bomb sticker. Girl, guys, I really don't know the words I'm saying. They make no sense. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, I'm just like trying to make sure that I still have space for my um, little ring holder thing because I didn't want it to cover any stickers, honestly. Like, that was my thing. And then here is the most stressful part of the whole video where I commit to putting the ring holder and it just stuck on the case. So this was probably the most stressful part of the video. 
but yeah, I feel like it's kind of lopsided, but you know what, who cares? You can't really tell. Maybe it's just me in my head. But yeah, there's me trying it out, making sure it, you know, works properly. So this was probably the most fun, you guys, where I got to use the colorful stickers, the colorful BT21 stickers to decorate the rest of my case. I think I had the most fun with this because there were so many to choose from and so many different members. Um, I think my favorite member of BT21 is probably Mong because he's so cute. Um, but I also really like Cookie um, and Koya because Koya is always sleeping and I feel like I'm always sleeping. But yeah, they were so fun to choose from and I tried to put like a uh, group group stickers on like the edges of my case so it would look more full and yeah this was just so much fun decorating it it turned out so cute in the end and this is how it turned out you guys it looks so cute I'm definitely going to smile every time I look at my phone case now because it's just so cute and so unique and yeah i just i just really love it here's a close-up shot for you guys and also like the key holder ring thing is like perfectly placed so i can finally hold my phone without dropping it but i love the way it turned out it turned out so so cute all right now to the part of the video where i show you guys what's actually on my phone so my lock screen is just a live photo of jungkook dancing um it's a pretty great lock screen then I have my camera on my lock screen, which obviously works. There I am in the camera. Hello everybody, me, cameraman Hazel. And then the next thing I show you guys is uh, my flashlight, just in case you were wondering how I see at night, the flashlight works. And then now the meat of my phone, my home screen. Yeah, so iOS 14. Amazing job, Apple. Kudos to you. It looks so good. Um, the personalization options are amazing. So here I zoomed in for you guys so you guys can see how I organize my home screen. I organize it into um, folders. And I have my Bible folder, my school folder, my entertainment folder, fitness folder, translators, photos and apps. Uh, I think that says well, shopping folder, utilities, and then I have pictures that says God is good, the only way out is through, and it'd be like that sometimes. And then here's my Bible folder which just has Bible and some idiot decided to call me at that exact moment. Alright, so that was a scam call. Back to the Bible folder. In this folder I have my Bible app and my Enduring Word app which is a really great commentary to learn more about the Bible. Uh, the next folder I have is my school folder, which is, and I have the Duo app, which is like a double authentication app thing for my school, Cam Scanner to scan my exam, Calculator, which is a built-in app, Focus Keeper, it's a Pomodoro timer that helps you, um, that helps you keep time in increments of 25 minutes and like gives you a 5 minute break. I have Notes, and then my last app is Habit, and it like helps you track your different habits. So, you know, you stay consistent and do them properly. My next folder is entertainment and I have Netflix is the first app I have in there, YouTube, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, Regal, CoStar, TikTok, and Skyview. Honestly, I don't even use half of these apps, but um, on Netflix, I'm currently watching Record of Youth. It's a K-drama, so if you guys are watching it, let me know down below in the comments how you like it so far. Next folder I have is my fitness folder. I have Spotify, Nike Run Club, Sleep Cycle, Flow, and a fitness coach. So the reason I put Spotify in there was because um, it's a music app and I listen to music when I work out. So the next app on here is Nike Run Club, which is a really good app if you're wanting to learn how to run. They have really good guided runs, which is what I use when I first started running. Then I have Sleep Cycle, Flow, and Fitness Coach. Sleep Cycle is just a sleep tracking app, so it like tracks your movements as you sleep and tells you how good your sleep was. Flow is just a period tracking app, and Fitness Coach is just like a workout app that I haven't really used that much yet. Uh, my next folder is my translator folder. It just has Eggbun and the built-in Apple translator that they just released recently. And honestly, Eggbun is a really cute app to learn Korean. Uh, it's like an app for you like text back and forth in the app. 
you're texting the bot in the app and it just like helps you learn Korean through that. It's really cute, so definitely check it out if you're learning Korean. And then here's my translator app. Again, I haven't really used the translator app a lot because it just released. The next app is my photos and videos app. So this has a lot of my social media in it. So I have, um, I'm sorry my hand is so shaky in this video. This folder contains Instagram, Snapchat, Photos, Pinterest, Snow, Visco, and Prequel. I'm assuming you guys know what Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest are. Pinterest are. And Photos is just my photo gallery. Snow is a Korean app that a lot of um, Korean celebrities use to edit their photo. Visco and Prequel are also um, photo editing apps that I sometimes use on a rare occasion. <laughs> So my next folder is shopping, which contains Amazon, Starbucks, and Venmo. I honestly don't really use any of these that much except for Amazon. Uh, next folder is utilities, which just contains settings and the app store, and these are just default apps that all iPhones come with. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have calling, safari, camera, and messaging at the bottom, just like every other person. <laughs> And yeah, and here's the view of my phone, and now to the fun part of my phone, which is the most customized part of my phone. And so this is the part of my iPhone that I customized thanks to iOS 14 update. I think it looks so cool. It is one of the best updates that I've ever seen Apple do. And yeah, I'm really thankful for it, although I don't, I can't keep this in the front of my phone because I will get distracted way too easily. I do like to have this page, you know, just for fun when I want to have a cool looking page. And yeah, this is everything that's on my iPhone. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me decorate my phone and struggle to pick which, which sticker I was going to put where. Um, but yeah, it was really fun and I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. Uh, so go ahead um, and leave a comment, leave a like share this video with your friends and let me know down in the comment section if you have ever decorated your phone case what does your phone case look like um and yeah all that good jazz and i'll see you guys in my next video bye